Looking at the Dragon's Transport, which I've uh, posted about um, a couple of weeks ago, I've begun working on it um, a few days back. Um, I hope you don't mind the background noise here yeah, because I've got that little fan on. Um, I've glued back <coughs> the two nylon posts that were snapped off during sh shipping. Uh, luckily, they, they weren't shattered. They were just broken at the base, round about there, the same one here as well. Um, I've glued this back using the um, special two-part epoxy uh, glue. Uh, and, um, <clears throat> yeah, they look strong now. Um, I've, I've, um, there was a special way of actually, you know, uh, clamping it down to get it in the correct position so that it's not tilted or anything. Um, yeah, they look okay. So that, that should be quite secure. The actual screw that's going to... Um, I, I didn't use the screw to epoxy glue it to the, um, the main body of the transport, fearing that the screw might get glued in as well and then it's going to be difficult to remove the screw. It's going to bugger up the whole thing anyway. So uh, in actuality, the screws, um, they are actually a bit longer and they, they, when you install back into the JC, uh, the screw will go in a bit deeper and will grab the main post back here uh, that will kind of clamp this and, and you know it'll be a lot stronger so fortunately Nakamichi designed it that way so that, that's going to be quite helpful um, the other damage to the transport here was this powder cable um, if you can see down there, that's the receptacle that connects to the uh, NAAC azimuth uh, playback hate azimuth mechanism that I've managed to put it back. Um, this is by means of also using uh, epoxy glue because the two taps, or you know, you know, there are four taps all together that secure it to the base of the mechanism have broken off. So I've, it, it's going to be secured for a long time unless something goes wrong. You're going to have to uh, remove it slowly. I've only put a little bit of back epoxy glue. Should anything go wrong with it again, which I doubt it will, um, because it, it's, it's basically just a bowden cable uh, that will move. Uh, <clears throat> together with the N N NAAC azimuth mechanism. Most of the problem is actually at the back here. Uh, um, I'm just going to turn it around. Normally, in that black box there where the gears are operating, and also there's a motor in there as well, um, which operates the NAAC mechanism so that that should last a long time there the other damage was if you can see here there's a long rail at the bottom here this is typical of Nakamichi classic transport yeah um, I've managed it was broken around about here it wasn't really broken it was badly bent um, rather than trying to straighten it and all that because it's got you know it's got slots in there uh, um, <clears throat> which um, um, which is devised to move it's got slots in there as well fortunately you know there were no damages to the pivots uh, or, or this uh, you know the securing uh, whatever you call it here down it's not broken so this particular one um, was salvaged from a, a donor deck and um, you know it's still in very good condition so I've, I've, I've put it back in here to replace the damaged one um, there was a bit of work you know springs and stuff need to be removed and 
to put it the um, cam flywheel gear flywheel has got to be in the correct place to be able to to install it back so there was uh, quite a bit of fiddling but um, I managed to get around it without too much difficulty so that is it's looking good I've already tested the movement and also greased it um, the whole transport has been clean yeah prior to all this work so I don't normally want to work on a very dirty transport so it's, it's all clean so in there there's a you can see that big gear I don't really call it flywheel actually because it doesn't it's it's you know it doesn't move uh, uh, in a in a in a in a you know it's it's not heavy or anything so it's not a flywheel uh, but it's the main gear for the cam mechanism so if I if I move it you can see the bottom reel start to move so that's how it operates um, to push up the pinch rollers and also bring it down during stop position yeah so that looks to be very smooth okay that's roughly about the stop position uh, with which you can eject the cassette yeah okay um, the other work that I've done, we are actually waiting for a set of azimuth gears. I was I was fearing that um, because I saw one that was broken, which is the playhead azimuth gear on the right here, bottom right. Yeah, that was broken, and um, I've checked the rest of it, the 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 height uh, gears or other screws were okay. So is the record hit azimuth uh, screw here they're fine as well and so are the other little ones at the back there um, what I've done is actually uh, I've got a few <coughs> Nakamichi decks that use the same uh, what we call here classic transport so I've pulled one out temporarily or rather possibly just permanently um, to install uh, or rather to replace the broken one for the playhead um, over here um, when I get the new set I'll, I will, I'll keep those as future parts uh, for future repairs so that's in there um, I've inspected the rest of the transport I'll be removing quite a bit here because uh, this deck needs a new idler anyway so you can see in there it's actually quite worn um, no we've never tested it because you know it came, it came damaged this deck so whilst I'm at it I might as well um, they don't look that old this is possibly not the original idler that came with the deck some 30 over years ago yeah usually those ones will will turn rock hard and um, this one's pretty soft but there are signs of wear and uh, and um, some indentations in there as well and then um, I, I might as well um, change the idler since I'm gonna be looking at everything this day so once I I've got a new idler here, yeah? Just arrived a few days ago. Yeah, okay. To remove it, um, I'll be dismantling a lot of uh, stuff uh, from here, back plate here onwards. There's another plate there, which um, uh, holds the coils for the twin direct drive for this tank yeah um, and also that plate there uh, it's gonna be delicate work and um, documenting all the screws and washes that I'll be removing in order to 
put them in the right places later on. So um, normally this kind of work will take a lot of patience and, and care to ensure that you do it properly. Um, and when I'm doing that, I'm going to be looking at the stuff inside. Hopefully there's nothing else that's broken in there. This classic transport is is actually very, very good. Um, <clears throat> it's just that, like anything else, you know, except for maybe the aluminium metal parts that they use in here. Um, they use a lot of nylon. Lots and lots of nylon. Some of them are for securing, some of them are for moving parts. Some of them, if you can see, you know, um, the things like that. Um, let's have a look elsewhere. It, you know, this this thing like that. Yeah. Um, the main reason why there's so many nylon parts in here um, is Nakamichi wanted the transport to be as silent as possible. So some of the nylon that's um, that's attached to the chassis uh, serve to dam the transport so that you know when when you operate the deck uh, there'll be moving parts in different modes play uh, record fast forward rewind um, lots of things are moving so those nylon stuff that don't actually function as um, either securing or mechanically moving parts are just damping stuff so yep there's there's a lot of it um the other thing is also um the classic transport is once it's service and all is very very reliable in fact i prefer the classic transport compared to the newer Sankyo transport that's being used from the BX series onwards. Um, although that's reliable as well, um, um, this is more reliable in, in the way that the motos are better, they are longer lasting. Uh, and most of all, the, the, the mechanism is a lot quieter than the newer ones. Um, so it's my favorite actually um now what was i i'm gonna say ah okay the transport we use as early as the 400 series and the 480s and the the the, the, the first 500 series the, the you know the the um what was that the, the 580 581 582s um and and they carried on all the way. I think the last deck that was used uh, with this transport was the ZX9. I think the ZX9 came after the Dragon, um, and after that they stopped using the transport. Um, the problem with the bigger transports, or rather the 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 classic transport. Um, when I say bigger, is the ZX9, unlike the other models, it uses a direct drive uh, transport on one side for the take-up caps then. For that, um, the flywheel has got to be installed with a huge magnet in there, which makes the transport heavy. Uh, worse still, in terms of weight, uh, would be the Dragon here because it's got double direct drive it's got two huge flywheels in there that makes this transport really really heavy uh, and the big problem with that is that if you ship a Dragon and to a certain extent the ZX9 as well um, I said about metal fatigue nylons they have uh, they have fatigue in there, you know. Uh, there have been also cases of some of the internal parts in here which, which can sometimes break as well uh, over time. But primarily, the main problem is transporting the decks. When you ship 
when you ship them. Um, these two nylon posts, especially on the left here, uh, because the weight is heavier over on the left, yeah, because the two flywheels are on, 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 on the left side of the transport. Uh, if the courier guys do not handle it well, you know, although you put a fragile sticker or whatever, uh, um, they can come loose off the chassis uh, quite easily, actually. And the way it will come loose, actually, the, the nylon posts, the two nylon posts here will break. The worst scenario is that all four can break as well. Uh, once that happens, there's stuff at the back here. Uh, if you noted in the pictures which I've posted about this deck earlier, um, it broke um, the two securing posts of the PCB that, that's quite close to the transport at the back here. And also part of the PCB uh, after actually... Um, there's a signal trace in there or probably a, a current trace in there that's that's broken after uh, rectifying that which um which is which is uh, in in the jc right now so i wouldn't show it there I'll probably just take a picture of it and post it uh later to the main article uh, in the facebook um so that, that's about it. Oh, there's one other thing, actually. If you noted also, the housing for the NAAC indicator was also broken. So I've taken off um, uh, the one that was on the donor transport and put it in here. There's no... There's, yeah. Oh, hi, Evan, actually. I have not... It's it's still it's still uh, the old one. You can see here. There's supposed to be an ear there. Yep, just like this side. Okay, to secure it. So um, yeah, I'll I'll be doing that in in a bit. So we'll, we'll be able to sort that one out. So it shouldn't be a problem. Okay, we'll continue this video uh, later on because I'm going to be start working on on. This deck, installing the idler, inspecting what else could possibly be damaged in there. Hopefully, there's not much else or nothing at all. Um, once I'm at that stage, I'll, I'll uh, shoot a video and do a bit of reporting again. Thank you. Okay, the other job which I did to repair this transport was um, the broken lower hinge of the window here. That hinge is basically just, again, a, a, a nylon part which has a protrusion that's inserted into the lower part of the window mechanism in there. So what I've done is actually I've carefully drilled uh, a hole in there um, so that I can insert a screw permanently to hold the lower part of the window mechanism. The tip of the screw goes in there um, prior to that, I've actually sanded off the the, the, the threads in, in that screw so that you know you, you get a, a very good movement in there without the threads impeding the movement of of the hole uh, within this lower lower part of the of the window. So, and I've greased it as well so that it moves um, quite smoothly. So that that job um, is a stout job, and um, it 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 should last forever. So that, that's done. Okay.